Welcome to a quick tutorial dedicated to plickers. We will talk about a couple of things. First, we'll see how to sign up for plickers, have a look at how to create our own class, and finally, uh, how to use them. And so hopefully, by the end of this tutorial, you'll be um, ready to start using plickers in your classroom. So to begin with, uh, we're gonna go and open a, an internet browser. It can be uh, Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, Firefox, uh, whatever we're using. So I'm working on Mac computer, so I'm gonna click on Safari. Now again, your browser can be different. Uh, we're gonna go to Plickers website, and it's www, here it, plickers.com www.plickers.com Oh, I forget to say that uh, at any time, feel free to pause. Um, I will not make any inten intentional pauses. So at any time when you feel that you don't catch up with me, just pause it, uh, do what I'm doing. And then once you're there, resume so that we uh, move at the same speed. Okay, so we go to plickers.com and this is what you will see. Um, uh, basically tells you what the Plickers is all about. If you haven't read about Plickers yet, go ahead and watch a quick, I believe there's a quick tutorial here about how it works, but I assume as you, because you're watching this video clip, you might already see Plickers uh, in class and you want to know how to use them. So we're gonna go and we're going to sign up. If you don't have an account yet, we're gonna sign up, it's right here. So I'm gonna click sign up and there are two options here. You can either create an account, enter your first name, enter your last name, enter your email and password, or you can simply go and sign up with Google. This is an easy option if you have a Google account already. So I would go and click on sign up with Google. I'm gonna do it now. And this uh, little window will pop up with Google accounts that uh, your computer have been using. One of those accounts will be yours. You can click on your account. Let's say this is my work, working account. I'm gonna click on my working account. And here you go. That's it. This is how easy it is to sign up uh, for Plickers. This will give us a little tour. So probably you don't need me uh, at all. A little tour here. And I'll just follow the tour then. So we have a library. Um, this is going to be uh, the questions that you create. But before we do that, uh, we need to create a class really. So let's see where we go next. Uh, we have reports. We'll talk about them later. We have classes. This is where we need to start actually. We have live view. We'll talk about it later. And we have cards also. Uh, need to prepare the cards. Help and done. Okay. So this is where what you will probably see if you haven't um, uh, visited Plickers before. And the first thing you need to do is to actually create your class. There's a demo class here. Uh, what I would do if I were you, I would click right here and I will delete it because we don't need that. So I'll click delete this class. Yes, I want to delete this class. And here you go. There's a clean slate where we're going to start. So we're gonna click on add new class right here. Add new class, um, name your class. So I'm just gonna try and replicate what I did when I created my class. So my class was BBS, so then my school, 3C, uh, year, uh, this is third grade. Again, this is for me, your class could be and will probably be completely different to mine. Subject, uh, I don't know, other maybe? Doesn't matter really. And the color, oh, this is good. I like this color. Click save. Okay, so name, year, subject, and save. And again, if I'm going too quickly, feel free to uh, pause the recording, uh, fill those fields in, and then resume. I'm gonna click save, and well done. So the first step, um, you've taken the first step, the most important step, you've created your class going to happen now we are going to actually create students so uh, we're going to 
click here, enter student name. Um, you don't have to enter the full name as long as you can recognize a student. I'm gonna start with, uh, let's say, Alex. So I'm gonna press enter. And I have Alex here. Go ahead and enter um, your class. You can open a roster and then copy it from there. Uh, what I would say, it's much better to follow your class roster. So if you have it somewhere on your computer or if you have it in your classroom somewhere, go get it and then just follow your roster and then just create your class. Uh, for the sake of the experiment, not experiment, demonstration, I'm gonna create five uh, hypothetical students. So I have these five students. Um, you might have noticed those little uh, numbers. So those numbers are super important. These are not just uh, uh, numbers of the students. Those numbers right here, one and two and three and four and five are going to be uh, numbers on the Plica cards. By the end of this step, you should have your students here. Your students and all of them will have a number next to it. The second step we need to do is to actually go to cards. So those are the actual cards that you will be using for your class. What you need to do is to go uh, scroll down a little bit and click on the standard Plickers card set free. We don't want anything from this options. All we need to do is just click on standard Plickers card set. I'm gonna click and this is going to be a PDF. You can see it's a PDF. So what you need to do, you need to click, um, it can't, well, it's tricky because it's different in different browsers, but if you go down or go up, you should see like a symbol of, like you need to download this document, okay? Uh, this could be a bit tricky, but uh, for some of you, some, some of you might have no problems, but try to scroll down, try to uh, hover your mouse here or sometimes at the top and it will see this little uh, um, symbol here, download. So I'm gonna click download and again, it di it's different uh, from browser to browser, from computer to computer. I have my downloads here, okay? So you might have it, if you're using Google Chrome, you will have your downloads here. But whatever it is, these, is, I'm assuming you've you, you found your Plica cards. So I'll just open my folder. I have my download folder. So these are the cards that you need to print out. Uh, again, put them on the flash, card, uh, flash drive, print them out. And remember I told you that every card has a, has, a, has a number. So this is where it comes up again. So as you can see, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. So every card has a number one and two. Scroll, scroll a little bit down three and four. So it's really important once the cards are printed to give card number one, okay, this is number one, to give it to, I'm gonna go back again to my class here, go back to my class and click here. Okay, so it's really important to give this first card once it's printed out and hopefully laminated to be more durable, we need to give it back to Alex, because Alex is number one. So Bob will get card number two, and so forth. Number four card will go to our batter. And sorry for jumping back and forth, I'm just, I just wanna stress it enough that number four card will go to batter, and so forth. So, so far we've created class by clicking on classes, and we, um, see how to, how to download cards and how important it, it is to give cards to specific students. So now when you, when you have that, now it's time to create some questions. And we're gonna go to the library section here. So this is going to be a library. This is what you are going to be using to create questions. What I'm gonna do now, I'll just sign out. You don't have to do that and I'm going to use my actual account. Uh, what is my actual account, by the way? Um, 
Yeah, I think so. Is it? Let's check. Yeah, that's my actual account. Uh, the reason I'm doing that, just to show you how I organize my questions. Uh, whenever you start um, a question, you might want to create a new folder. This is right here, new folder. So let's say my new folder is going to be called math or math, unless I already have, yeah, I already have math. And then inside this folder, let's say create this folder, I'm going to create another folder and let's say we started um, fractions. So I'll create folder name fractions. I'm gonna click save. And I'm gonna go inside this folder. And boom, so here I can actually create questions inside the fraction folder. New question. I'm gonna type my question here. And these are the possible answers. So answer A, answer B, C or D, if it's multiple choice. So my answer A is going to be test one, test two, test three, and test four. So it's important also select a correct answer. So if you have two, select two. If this one, select one. If it's multiple, sorry, it's if, if it's true and false, then again, select one. You can either save or save and create new. So if you click save, you will have one question appeared here. If you want to add another question, again, click on the question, type in your question, and you can add images here. So let's say um, if I want to add an image here, go, I will find an image, then I will add it here and it will it will show up here. I'm not going to demonstrate that. You can try it yourself. Again, type in your answers and then I'm going to just say uh, type test one, oops, test two, test three, test four, um, select the right answer and then you can save and create new question and then it just brings up, it'll bring up the next um, a new window. So once you finish, I'm going to click just cancel. So right now we created two or uh, two questions. So here they are. The last step you need to do before ready to run, uh, not last step, but one of the steps uh, is to add them to queue. Uh, the queue basically means uh, the questions that will show up on the screen. Um, let's say I want to, I have my class here. And today I'm gonna I'm gonna I want to test them on these two questions. So I'm gonna add this question to the BBS queue, and you will see right here that this question. Oh, sorry, I have a lot of questions here. It's from from my previous, um, from from yesterday. So again, I'm gonna add and add it to queue, and I'm gonna click here and add it to and not another queue to the same queue. So now now I have uh, questions here. And if I had written actual questions, you will see them right here. But because I only typed in a question, that's, this is what shows up. Um, you can change the order by clicking up or down. So this is, this is pretty much it. So your computer is now ready for a Plicker quiz. So what is left now is to download a Plicker application on your phone. Okay, I'm going to say one time, it's important to have a Plicker. Plickers are website open on the screen and also have a phone with a Plickers application installed on your phone. All right, so now when you have your a Plickers application installed on your phone, it's time to click on it. Plickers, and we are going to sign in because we already have an account. We're going to click on sign in. Uh, we're going to select um, either to use email and password, if that's what you use to create your Plicker account, or we're going to click on sign in with Google. That's what it chose. So I chose my email and password. Uh, so I'm going to um, type my email and password and sign in. All right. Um, now when you are inside the Plicker uh, Plicker's application, you will see your class that you created. Uh, this is my actual class. Our first thing we're going to do, click on our class, and we'll see 
uh, either queue. This is the queue that we create our, on the website here. Um, remember I told you you can um, go to your folder, um, go to the questions you created, and then uh, queue them. So we're gonna add this one to a queue, and we're gonna add one more question to the queue right here. Now we have two questions. If we go back, we should have them here. Yeah, there we go. Cancel for a while. So those are those two questions. You see, I have those two questions lined up on the website and you have those two questions on your phone. Uh, once you're ready, uh, okay, oh, before we do that, uh, we need to click live view on the screen and we're gonna click on the question and click scan, right? So right now you just, um, you see, uh, this is what is happening. This is what is happening on the, or my computer, or this is what will be happening on your um, projector. And this is what you will see on your phone. Um, so I'm just recording my computer. So you will see your actual class and uh, your students are on the left and the answers are on the right. Um, if you have your Plica cards printed out, go ahead and try to scan them and you will see once you scan um, a student, a card, uh, his name, the name will um, be, um, the tick will show up here and you will see his name uh, either green or red depending on our, whether the answer is correct or not right here. So after that, uh, once you collected all the answers, you can click on graph right here and you will see in a live view are how many students answered A, B, C, or D, and you can click on reveal answers to show which answer is correct. So you can do that, you can hide answers. There is another way you can show correct answers, which is, um, I wouldn't say, uh, I would say less desirable, because this way, uh, if we click on students and we reveal answers, then um, students will actually see who got the answer right and who got it wrong. So I almost never use uh, students reveal answers. I always use graph and reveal answers. So this way we kind of um, protect students' uh, privacy and they feel more uh, secured to answer those questions. They won't be humiliated if they get, they get the answer wrong. So, um, I hope by now uh, you are ready to actually start. If you, if, you, if you went through all those steps, you will be ready to start using Plickers in your classroom. If you have any questions, feel free uh, to leave them in the comments or ask me directly if you work with me in the same school. All right, um, I hope this tutorial help, has been helpful and I hope that you will be able to use Plickers in your classroom. See you later.